Hello YouTube, this is Auto Trep giving you a how to. Today we are gonna be I'm gonna be telling you how to make a Minecraft server. Um, this is gonna be public, run off a port map, um, everyone can join, and yeah, um, this is gonna be a vanilla server. If you want a bucket server, check out my next video. So yeah, let's get started. So first off, you're gonna go into the first link in the description. Um, it's gonna be Minecraft dot net slash download alright so if you're running Mac you're gonna download minecraft um, underscore server dot jar if you're running Windows um, you're gonna download minecraft underscore server dot exe so I'm running Mac so I'm gonna download the minecraft server dot jar um, that'll be a quick download it's just gonna be a jar file so let's see so and it's done downloading and it appears on your desktop so here it is and you're just going to double click it it's going to open um, it should open quick shortly and see it'll open a minecraft server it'll be a jar file and it'll open its own application so now basically it's just going to load the spawn area of your world so you're just going to let that um, do its thing now so as you see it says to start the server with more RAM, launch with blah blah blah. So you're gonna want more RAM, so it's gonna be a you're gonna wanna get more RAM, trust me. So now <clears throat> you're gonna go back to that first link in the description. Alright, so you're gonna go back to it. And you're gonna highlight this, it's Java. See all the way from Java all the way to the end. And as you can see, it's dot MGUI or new G or no G U I dot whatever you you don't want new G or no UI you don't want it that'll just completely mess up all your port forwarding and it'll it just won't be good so you're only gonna highlight from Java to jar you're not gonna go into Nugi so leave Nugi and you're just gonna copy that and you're gonna close out because you're done with that alright so as in the description you're gonna need two programs one is terminal free download, include the link in the description. Other one is port map, another free download, and I'll also include that in the description. Alright, so this should be done loading. Um, no, it's not done. So you're just going to wait for this to load. Basically all it's doing is it's loading your server properties. Alright. Well, yeah, that, that should be good. We'll finish it with more RAM. Alright, see it says out of memory, Java heap space. So that's because we don't we're not running enough RAM. So we're gonna close that. It's gonna take a little to close. And once you've downloaded terminal and port map, you're gonna open terminal. Alright. Now I'll include this in the description because it kinda gets confusing. So right after it loads whatever this is, it'll include welcome to Darwin or whatever terminal you're getting. And right after your computer name, you're gonna type ls. Lowercase ls enter. And then you're gonna type C D space desk top enter now you're going to type ls again ls enter that'll load a bunch of stuff so now on the minecraft download page you um, copy and paste it or copy that um, jar java file you're going to click it right click and click paste enter and that'll just load up a bunch of stuff so see now it's going to respond or it's going to start the spawn point with a lot more ram and a lot more java space so you're going to minimize those and let those go. So now you've got all these. And basically, you've got your world. You are going to want to hang on to this. Trust me. You will hold on to your world. Because um, basically, with no plugins, this is you can copy and paste this. Um, towards the end of the video, I'll tell you how to back up your world um, on a vanilla server. And you have ops. So once we get into that, you know, you're going to add yourself to that ops list. Um, so let's see if this is done. 48%. So that's going to take a little to, you know, get all done. And in here, um, server logs, you're going to keep those. That's only, you know, if you're having any problems, you want to refer to the server logs. Band players, you want to hang on to these. Because um, these are your band players. Obviously, they're blank because we haven't even started. Um, server properties. 
So, I mean, you can do whatever you want on here. Um, level seed, if there's a specific world you want. Server IP, you really can't do anything with it. We have no plugins. Um, whitelist, if you want your server to be whitelisted, you're going to click true. And in game, you're going to add people to whitelist using slash whitelist add username. Spawn animals, um, I'd imagine you want to keep that on, but if you don't, you're going to just type false. Online mode, true. You're going to use this to turn your server on and off um, manually if you want. Uh, you're just going to type false there. You're going to delete that. True. You're just going to put false. So, yeah. Yeah, so basically, you just, it's off if you put false. So PvP true, um, if you want. Difficulty 1, I'd keep that. Game mode 0. 0 is survival, 1 is creative. I'd keep that at 0 if you want it fun. Max players, you can do whatever you want depending on how much RAM you're running. Um, and we're done. See, done for help type, help or question mark. And you're going to get a lot of warnings saying can't keep up to the system change. Just completely ignore those. You're going to get a ton of those. I mean, seriously, we just started the server and I've already got 5. Um, it's just, don't worry about it at all. It's fine. And with this, generate structures, meaning nether fortresses, NPC villages. You're going to keep that true, because that'll be much more fun. View distance, keep that 10. Um, and message of the day. Um, change it to whatever you want. You know, you can say, you know, if your server's down, say down for maintenance. It's up, say so join now. You know, whatever you want, really. Um, so I'm just going to keep that to the default. Um, be, be sure you save it though. Alright, so now we're all loaded. So I'm going to log in. So as of right now, because I don't have port map open, so as of right now, I'm the only one that can access it. So, here, let me just log in. Oh, uh, hang on. Oh my gosh, hang on, let me log in. Alright, so now we're logging into Minecraft. As of right now, I am the only one that can log in because we do not have port forwarding. Um, depending on what port forwarding you want, it um, may cost money, it may not. Port map does not cost money. It is a free program and anyone can get on your server, so that's why it's my favorite. So, to join your server, you, um, you don't have to type in your IP. It's just going to be local host, all one word, and you're going to join server. And you're the only one that can join the server. So it's from your, oh man, you're going to have to generate the world a little because it's pretty slow. I mean, it's brand new. So we got that, and see, you logged in at whatever. And let's see, it spawned me underwater. This is the only spawn point. Alright, so we got some super lag, so I'm not going to spend too much time on here. But yeah, there. Now it's your world. You're the only one that can join it, and that's all, really. Um, you're the only one that can join it. Now, to get other people to join it, anyone from anywhere to join it, you're going to download port map from the description, free download. Um, you're going to download it to your um, desktop. You're going to double click it. So that'll open here in a second. And um, I bet you many of you are going to ask me how I change the icons of my desktop. Um, it's really not that hard. I mean, but if so many of you want to know, I will make a video or I'll just comment. Because it's really not that complicated. So anyway, so now, when, now that you have this open, basically, you want to make sure that both of these switches are turned on. If you don't have a, um, if you don't have a, um, what should I call it, a network, you're going to go up to File, New Mapping, and I'm just going to 25565, depending on where you live, um, you're just going to have to look that up, because, but mainly in America it's 25565, Description, I leave that blank, um, and basically, well, Description is basically, you don't have to describe it, just give it a name. So I'll just say test, um, let's see, test server, side mapping, and boom. But you can only have one on at a time or it'll just confuse everything. So, yeah, whatever. I can leave them on, I have enough RAM. So, 
you're gonna have your test server make sure that the server you're running is on and the main switch is on if you ever need to refresh it just click this button right here it'll refresh it um, and the IP that you want to give out to your friends so when they ask what's the IP of your server right here 67164225177 that is the server IP um, so yeah that's the one you're gonna give out to your friends but like I said, um, you can just join with localhost, so you don't have to go through all that. So just make sure that's open. Um, you can minimize that whenever. And now anyone can join. So it's public, and anyone can join your server. Um, you can too. And yeah, just when you want to have your server up and running, you can play. Just make sure you have these three windows open. Um, you have Terminal Java, and you have your Minecraft server and you have port map those three things are necessary and yeah so like I said you're gonna get a lot of infos and warnings just ignore them they're nothing big like we can join people can join and yeah see that's all you have to have open alright thanks for watching guys